Well, good day. Uh, I'm Martin Tyner, and I am the uh, founder and CEO of the Southwest Wildlife Foundation. And I've just barely gotten back from rescuing an injured turkey vulture. Now, turkey vultures are beautiful animals. Um, they do a great service. They eat dead, rotted carcasses, and they help stop the spread of disease. And this particular turkey vulture has got a very sad story. Now, I'm going to give everyone a warning, please. If seeing the aftermath of an injured bird bothers you, especially something as nice and beautiful as a turkey vulture, um, please don't watch this video. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, what we call lake hole traps. Some people call them coyote traps. And this is, this is a, a typical lake hole trap that we have. Uh, you can buy these at any of the farm stores and many of the hardware stores will have these available. They use them for catching coyotes and foxes and raccoons and, and animals they consider um, uh, depredation as a threat to the, either their livestock or, their, or their, their pets. And let me just show you what this leg, how this leg hole trap works. Now first, um, the springs are extremely strong and what, and what we want to do is we want to push down on the, on the two panels on both sides and hold them and while they're being held, get a good grip on it here, we have a little tab that comes off. And while we're holding this down, we put the, the little tab over and we raise the trigger plate. And then we very gently, with the trigger plate set, we very, very gently move our hands away, you know, completely away from the trap, and the trap is now set. Now what we do with these, what they do with these traps is they will bury these traps in the ground. Uh, so they're virtually invisible and they will bait the trap to attract the animals that they, that they want to catch and um, You know here's our here's our leg hole trap and what I've got here. This this is a this is a, a hardwood a hickory wooden dowel and This will kind of show you what the traps what the traps capable of doing now This is a perfectly legal trap. Please understand that this is a legal trap and so it just takes very, very little pressure on the, onto the trap, on that trigger plate, and the trap pops. Now if you look at that hickory dowel, where the two, where the two sides of the jaws come together, the, the dowel is almost cut in half. Now this hickory dowel is about the size and thickness of a, of a golden eagle's leg. And uh, the, the trap is spaced on either end here so that it can't close completely tightly together. Um, but, so that's about as far as it'll go down. Let me go ahead and unset it here. There we go. And uh, if you can get a close up of, of that, you can see the damage to the wooden dowel that, that occurred from the leg hole trap. Okay, now, now as I said before, for those of you that are sensitive about seeing injured animals, um, please turn the video off. I, I, I really don't want you to see this. I'm going to bring in the turkey vulture. We just got back from rescuing it, and, and I haven't really had a chance to look at it closely, but when we grabbed it out in the field, it was obvious that it had been caught in a trap. All right. This is an adult turkey vulture. Shh, 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 shh. It's okay, baby. This is an adult turkey vulture. We can tell it's an adult because it has a red head. And that's how we identify whether they're adults or juveniles. And uh, can you hand me one of the larger hoods on the, on the thing up there? Not that one, not the, one of the hawk hoods. Yeah, that one, that'll work. And we're going to help to keep his stress down. We're gonna put this over his head to help him, keep him from being too stressful as we examine him. This, this will help him out quite a bit. That's about his size. Yeah, make okay, come on, you gotta close your beak. There we go. There we go. Okay. There we are, baby. Now this will help keep him calm. It's already terrifying enough as it is. And uh, let's give him a quick once over and here's our problem. Here's the problem, guys. There's there's the, the leg. He should have the, the leg hole trap caught the vulture's leg about an inch above the foot and either severed it 
or most likely what happened is this vulture was in the trap for several hours the circulation to the foot was cut off and the foot and the trapper came back found the vulture in the trap uh, the vulture was still alive he turned the vulture loose and the vulture flew away the circulation was cut off to the foot the foot died fell off and the skin healed over over the the leg after the foot finished falling off now this turkey vulture was found in in a, a yard um, about 30 miles north of here where some people have turkey vultures they love them they, they were roosting in their trees and they found this one on the ground unable to fly because of the loss of the leg he can't stand properly which means he broke off all of his tail feathers without the tail feathers he doesn't have a rudder he can't fly well enough to, to be out there and survive well the, the wing is, is quite ratty as well because of the loss of the foot so this guy right here is, is in really bad shape because because of the leg hole trap it's against the law it's against the law to set these traps and use exposed bait and that's the problem uh, a lot of the the more reputable trappers will use scent smell and the coyotes and the other animals will come to the smell but if you leave uh, an animal carcass and put traps around an animal carcass the animals that will find the traps first are the eagles and the vultures and the owls and the hawks and so I've been getting a lot of these in and uh, so I thought I, I really wanted to show everybody this is the aftermath even if they think the, the animal is is fine and it, the animal is turned loose and it flies away the aftermath is that it doesn't survive because it loses the leg